lot of y'all need therapy. You need a therapist. Hi guys, welcome back and thank you for returning. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be showing you how I changed this wig. I just dyed the ends blue really fast, like in seconds. And this gorgeous cut crease that I have done. I kind of revamped this look that I did last year. It is my almost a year on YouTube, which I'm very excited about. I only wanted 1K for my year anniversary and I got three. So thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're talking some shit. It is a chit chat. So let's get straight into this look. So we about to give my baby a makeover. She's a year old. We trying to spice her up. Look at the inside of this wig a year later. Wigs by S period. And yeah, let's just go ahead and spice her up. We're using the Aquamarine and Royal Navy by Adore. So real quick, just watch me transform the ends of this wig. I am using a jar of hot water and I'm just going to mix everything in and just literally dip the ends into this jar. And then I'm going to just rinse everything out and we're going to get straight into the makeup look. It was really that easy. I did install and style off camera, so yeah. I've never worn this wig straightened and I absolutely love it. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera as you can tell. So we're going to get straight into eyeshadow. But for this chit chat, I have like a list of topics. I don't know if I want to do unpopular opinions. It's probably going to end up being me just talking shit because that's all I know how to do apparently. So we're going to get a little juicy today. Starting with this eyeshadow. We're going to be dipping and dabbing from this old ass Morphe 35B. I have this Urban Decay Blue in Peace, which I really love. Jacqueline Hill palette. I might play around with this. But if you can tell, we're going for like a blue look today. I did moisturize my face with Belief Moisturizing Balm and I did use this Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. The creamy beige for my eyes because when you're working with um, bright colors, you do want to put like a lighter base on your eyes so that the color can pop more. So I don't like to use my exact concealer color. I like to use a shade or two lighter. No, it's just no little sun sun on my was a makeup artist once upon a time. But anyway, I don't put my face on like I used to only because like i really had to get back in tune with loving myself like i used to be the type of girl that I never want to go anywhere without my face being beat so i had to learn how to love myself honestly i've been loving the videos i've been posting without makeup because i like to show y'all my true self once you have so much confidence in yourself which this was a recent build thing i didn't always have confidence but once you build the confidence to the highest level it doesn't matter what other people think or feel like I'm very antisocial as well so when I did used to go out it was just kind of uh, don't really want to be here I'm 5'10 5 5'11 5 so all eyes is always going to be on me because I'm the tallest bitch in the party but if I'm not on point if I'm not to the T maybe they'll say this or maybe they'll think this and I was tired of feeling like that, so I'm glad I got out of that. Now I can go anywhere and truly would not give a fuck what anybody is thinking of me. Because me as a person, I love myself. I love everything about myself. This air spun is not it. I mean, it do what it's supposed to do, but it's just really not it. It stinks so bad. Anyway, what are we going to talk about today? So I'm going to just pat this blue in. Let's talk unpopular opinions real fast. I would never want to offend anyone from anything they got going on or anything. So we got that out the way, right? We got that out the way. So boom. So y'all know Juice World just passed away. And I don't know all the facts, so maybe I shouldn't speak on it. Do me if you need to do me. Before any type of clarity or anything happened to where we actually knew what happened to him, we all knew what happened to him or the cause let's say the cause of this is my thing i'm very sad that a 21 year old had to pass away of course and especially due to drugs and i'm not gonna say but so let's just say when our niggas when our rappers when our people when not even just niggas when are y'all gonna see that y'all are literally killing yourself Y'all do know we got marijuana in this planet, right? You do know you can get high from it and nothing will happen, right? So, niggas are drinking lean. Y'all niggas are popping pills. 
And honestly, if you're on my page and you're getting a little offended, I'll go ahead and stop myself. Sis, if you're doing that, all I can do as me is say, please get off of that shit. Like, if you're going through some shit, you know that no drug is going to cure whatever you're going through. I even know that. I even stopped smoking weed for a little bit because it's like, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not progressing. I'm just going to sleep and waking up hot. I've seen a video of Trippy Red and he was just like, he just is going to smoke weed. He's not going to do any of that shit, blah, blah, blah. But he might still rap about it. He might still rap about the drugs because that's kind of what's in. Are you dumb? My 10 year old brother can literally say every word to y'all songs and you're talking about you're not going to do it but you're going to rap about it my unpopular opinion is y'all need to stop doing that shit y'all need to stop talking about it y'all need to find a new environment if that's all you're around you need to get your mind right a lot of y'all need therapy you need a therapist you need to get straight you need a therapist and i'm not saying i'm any fucking better than anyone because i still smoke weed but at the same time if I wanted to stop weed right now, I could, if I wanted to. And it ain't gonna be no sweats, it ain't gonna be no throwing up, it ain't gonna be no diarrhea or none of that. If y'all was to get off of that shit right now, depending on how much y'all do that shit, you will literally go through withdrawals. Why are you doing anything that can make you have withdrawals? I'm not understanding. It's like it's nothing gonna stop. How many deaths does it have to be for y'all to get that y'all are literally killing yourselves. So at this point, I'm thinking y'all want to kill yourselves. Like, and again, that's not to step on anybody's toes. You you got your own thing going that I don't know about. So who the fuck am I to speak on anything? I know. And I mean, I get some people just do that shit for the thrill. Some people just do it for the time, the fun, the night. I'm pretty sure crackheads have the time of their lives on crack. That's why they're so strung out. I'm pretty sure y'all niggas are having hella fun off of Molly and Perks and Zans. I'm pretty sure y'all are, which is exactly why I'm not doing this shit. If you know every day people get strung out on things, they're losing their house, they're losing their kids, they're losing a lot of fucking things. I don't think people understand how dependent you can really get off of drugs, even though we learned it our whole lives. I've had friends that have been on it got off of it i have friends that's still on it i have friends that's good on it i have friends that's really fucking bad on it i'm sorry for all of the above i'm gonna stick to my trees so i'm gonna deepen it up one more time using this dark blue down here the new generation that is is what it is now we have so many opportunities these days, like way more opportunities than our parents and our grandparents did. So I just feel like we should all be taking advantage of that. Like, I'm doing this Christmas is fuck look. I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. I mean, I'll probably let my kids celebrate, but I'm a Muslim. I've been a Muslim for over half a year now. I'm not going to get too much into religion because I know what I believe. It's okay. Like, I have friends that are spiritual. I have friends that practice whatever I have Christian friends I have all types of friends I don't let anyone's religion determine you know our relationship or anything like that and you shouldn't none of us are supposed to be judgmental at all I did wanted to put it on my channel just so people did know because it's a lot of things that I do that people are probably like it's no way she's a Muslim like even right now I have tattoos I don't always wear the most modest clothing at all but it's like no one in your in my religion nor is anyone in anyone's else religion supposed to judge me. I have Muslim friends that do not judge me at all. So if you're a Christian thinking about judging me because I don't wear a hijab, don't really care. Oh, hold on, I gotta cut this real quick. So have y'all been seeing the whole Dwayne Wade's son ordeal? I'm so proud, I'm so happy that that kid has someone so supportive of a dad as him because he's doing amazing like so personally i already love the lgbt community i love everything about it i love that people can be so open with themselves so free with themselves they show me more confidence than i can show myself honestly to go out to be in your true skin to be who you want to be is everything to me. I love the LGBT community. And it's a really scary world to live in and be a part of that community. So the fact that they do and they still go out and be their true selves and their best lives, 
I truly love it. No one should be truly that invested in your fucking life to where y'all think y'all can just comment like, what the fuck do Dwayne Wade got going on? He know what he doing and he's being a bomb ass fucking parent. Like everyone cannot say they came out and their parents were receptive of it. So the fact that he has the spotlight, like he's a celebrity and he's still making it be known. He's not hiding anything. They have big ass smiles when they in their pictures. You know, I truly love to see it. This is my unpopular opinion. I think it's so rare as a man for you to feel uncomfortable around a gay man. What does what that man do on his private time, what does that man do in his personal time, his personal life, whatever, have to do with you? You know you're a straight man, right? B, why do men be so mad? If you're that mad, you're that angry, I feel like you're a suspect. I feel like you're a suspect. Even saying no homo, no homo, bro, but bitch. Why should you as a grown ass man ever say that shit? Nothing you say to anyone should come off gay. If y'all are secure that y'all are straight men, that y'all like women, it should never be a thought to say something to cover up not being gay. Does that make sense? Like it should never be an issue. And you being around someone just because it's a gay man does not mean he wants you, baby. You can be in a room of 50 bitches. That don't mean no 50 bitches want you. What do y'all expect Dwayne Wade to do? Not own his son? Disclaim his son? That's weird. Then it'll be an even bigger story. Oh, Dwayne Wade doesn't take care of his son because he's gay. Dwayne Wade don't want to be seen out in public because he's gay. That would be a whole issue. So congratulate that man, pat him on his fucking back, give him his flowers while he is here because that's a major step. It's about to be 2020. If you cannot be around gay people, go stand in the motherfucking corner and don't ever come out. All I'm doing is literally just creating my own white liner. Like, speaking of black parents, what the hell is Future doing? Do y'all niggas not believe in wrapping up? Let that have been my fucking child and you've been publicly disowning my fucking kid for months now. Baby, I'm coming for everything. Don't fucking play with me because we didn't. I didn't lay down and have this baby by myself. I don't have no fucking remorse for shit like that. I don't give a fuck if you said when she said she was pregnant you didn't want kids. I don't care about none of that. Some situations, it could be a toxic ass situation where women can be very petty and you can't even get your kid, all this extra shit. That's different. It's a lot of things that can go into child support. But when it comes to you're a grown ass man and you have what seven fucking kids, I don't feel bad for you, bro. At this point, you need to get your shit together. NBA young boy too. Get your motherfucking shit together. Especially you, son. NBA, you are literally however the fuck old you are. Your baby mamas ain't even motherfucking 21. It's just like, at what point do you fucking stop? I know y'all seen um the shit with Lizzo at the game. Me, personally, you know I have unpopular opinions. I think she's great. I, I love that she has all the confidence in the world for herself, honestly. But, I just don't understand why you would literally put a hole or wear something with a hole just for your ass to show out. Because from the front of her outfit, she just had a regular outfit on. And I saw what Azealia Banks said, which, I don't agree with shit she said. On the lines of, basically, she loves everything she stands for. She loves, I guess, the confidence, whatever, whatever. But she feels that Lizzo feels the need to put herself out there. Therefore, attention versus her music versus just being a bomb ass artist, which she is. She feels that she's sad because she has to do go all out to get noticed. You no, know, it's already hard not being the social standard of which what people feel like you should look and everything like that when it comes to people and their insecurities I feel you and I understand but that is correct you don't have to go do the most you don't have to go show your ass literally to get noticed kids gonna see some shit kids gonna be exposed to some things girl fuck them kids and I don't really care that she did it that's her fucking life you know like that's her that's what she wanted to do but I mean, it is what it is. I don't think it should be a big, huge uproar. Oh, it's kids at that game. Girl, y'all ain't gonna fuck about them kids. They ain't seen a little ass, woo-hoo. They gonna see it eventually, they'll be all right. Close their eyes. 
aside from the game, people be bothered by she take new photos, she does that. You realize that not everyone like your skinny, scrawny ass, me being one of them. Some people actually do like bigger women. Some people like meat on their bones. So just because you don't like to see that shit, some people do. And granted, scratch all of that, people don't want to do things just to get confirmation from other people, men or women. Some people do things just to show I am secure in my own body. Blue on the tip and we're just going to outline My camera died, so I went ahead and put my lashes and the liner and everything on. I need to go ahead and throw this face on. I use the MAC NC45 Studio Scope. Sorry, had a phone call. So again, I just put my nutmeg on and the try again lipstick. It was the Aaliyah collection with MAC. It's the MAC Oyster Girl and I'm running out, unfortunately. It is a really good lip gloss. Yeah. So I really hope you like this video. I love, 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 love this look. It came out so pretty. I actually did a look like this last year. It wasn't this exact look. So I kind of freaked it in my own way. This is my year update. At the end of this month, it'll be a whole year for me on YouTube. And I'm so happy with my success. I'm so happy at how far we have came. I only wanted 1K in my first year and I got three. So I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy and thankful for all of you. So make sure you keep watching because I'm going to be keep dropping some good knowledge, some good vids. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe sis please and thank you and see you in my next video bye